Hi, my name is Dr. Fu Chi Yong. I am a physician researcher and a PhD candidate in Monash University, Malaysia. I would like to share with you our research study investigating the association between the delay in coronary intervention for myocardial infarction and the risk of mortality and other related adverse outcomes. Myocardial infarction is a medical emergency in which sudden occlusion of the coronary artery causes a disruption of the blood circulation to the heart. As a result, heart cells die and their functions are lost. Reperfusion therapy is an important part of the treatment for myocardial infarction. Primary percutaneous coronary intervention, in short, PCI, is the preferred mode of reperfusion therapy when available. Timeliness of delivering this life-saving treatment is an important quality dimension of many modern healthcare systems today. One widely used measure of reperfusion timeliness is the door to balloon time. The door to balloon time is referred to as the delay in between a patient's arrival at a PCI-capable hospital to the moment of the balloon inflation that reopens the occluded artery. Door to balloon time of greater than 90 minutes is generally considered a modifiable system delay and therefore an important target for quality improvement efforts. Over the past decades, there has been significant improvement in the door to balloon time across many healthcare systems. However, recent studies have shown that, despite this improvement, the overall mortality of those receiving the procedures remain unchanged. This raises questions of whether door to balloon time reduction is still a worthwhile quality effort. Motivated by these recent controversies and the lack of a systematic assessment on this topic, we conducted this study. In this study, we review literature source from a wide range of databases. We look for prospective observational studies that have investigated the relation between door to balloon time and clinical outcomes. Through our systematic searching, we found 32 studies involving nearly 300,000 patients that provided adequate data for further analysis. In the main analysis, we found that door to balloon delay exceeding 90 minutes was associated with a 50% increase in the odds of mortality. This time-outcome relation appears to follow an exponential-like non-linear pattern. This non-linear pattern implies that the impact of door-to-balloon time reduction is likely to be more significant when the baseline delay is longer. We also found that longer pre-hospital delay changes this time-outcome relation. Specifically, those presented late show no beneficial effect even if the door to balloon time was short. This finding signifies that the consideration of reperfusion timeliness should be extended beyond the hospital door to optimizing the pre-hospital processes. In conclusion, longer door to balloon time in coronary intervention for myocardial infarction is related to higher risk of adverse outcomes. Minimizing this delay should remain an important part of the quality improvement effort. This is especially important in settings where door-to-balloon delay remains significant. Because pre-hospital delays modify the effect of door-to-balloon time on outcomes, improving this segment of the delay chain should be further emphasised.